Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to the forest. So guys, although we're in version 0.58, it was a bit of a lackluster update. Uh, it seems what they wanted to get out there was dedicated servers, but it's not ready yet. So that's going to be released in version 0.59. So what we're left with wasn't really worth making an update video on, but I know some of you guys might be interested, so I will briefly just mention a couple of changes. So we've got a new ball texture, I guess. I couldn't really notice that much difference, but I guess the little guy does look... Area. <laughs> uh, we also have a new stealth icon, so when it's fully white, they can see you, I think, and then when it's greyed out, I think you're in stealth. Pretty sure I'd actually play with these stealth icons, so I will turn it off. But what I might turn on is depth of field. I use this when I'm taking screenshots, but I might actually play this episode out with depth of field on. It can make things look really nice, but then other times, especially with the weapons, it blurs them out, which can be a bit annoying. But we'll give it a go. Do let me know in the comments if you think it adds something to the series, because... I don't know. It can be quite annoying just it all being flat all the time, having a bit of depth of field. Might make things interesting. Uh, what else we got next? Oh, so there's only two more things really. One of them is that when you now sit on the bench, you put your weapon away. I did tell you there wasn't really that much in this update, guys. And the rest is UI changes, which you're going to see when we're going to be building throughout this episode. But they did one bug fix, which I'm so glad they did. So if you remember the repair tool icon always showing up. Oh, they changed that as well. When you used to walk away, it'd be on screen all the time. So if we can repair that, then the repair tool icon is gone. It used to follow you around on screen all the time. It was annoying. So guys, the most anticipated thing you can take away from this update is the hopefully they're bringing in dedicated servers. Now, whether it's going to be their own dedicated servers or they're going to incorporate a way for you to rent them, like uh, Rust do, I don't know. We'll have to see. But one thing's for sure, you're definitely going to be able to have more than eight players in a server. It's going to be crazy. So that's the update, guys. Uh, not much, I know. But what we're going to do this episode, you know, we're going to be building all the way around with a wall. But I think I might work on the wall from the bone crypt going to the tower. Because what I want to do, I want to put a defensive gate in there and then when we come round, put a defensive gate in the middle there. This is what we're going to be doing this episode, guys, building this wall. How's it going, buddy? So it is night time, so I'll definitely be able to see where I'm putting this wall blueprint. Um, where I'm going to be going to in the bone crypt is exactly here. So when I go into the bone crypt, I can see on the other side of the wall. So I think I'm going to have to destroy these bones first. Damn it. You know I got the wall. Ah. Oh. There you go. Brand new. So that's where our wall is going to slot into. Okay. Look at that as well. It's all blurred on the outside. I wish that could be normal without the depth of field. So we need the wall. There we go. So you can already see a new icon there for the placing of the walls. Oh, the rotor icons over the left mouse button. Maybe that should be a bit lower. We have some more as well when we actually place it. Look at that. They've really given all these icons a massive overhaul. Um, but I do want this to arc around, so we'll go from here. Something like that. There we go. What's that like? And then that can... In fact, put it a bit there. And then finish it off into this, if it will go. Come on now. I can put a little bit of wall there. But you see, you can now actually see each individual sweet spot before you had to guess where it was. But it's kind of a weird tracking motion. Sometimes it flips on sides where you can't read it. But I guess all this is a first pass though, and it's, it's pretty good. Can't wait till this wall's all the way around. I like it. 138 rocks. So I need to find the middle because this is where I'm going to put my defensive gate. So would you say the middle is this one? Actually, the sweet spot is good for the walls because you couldn't really tell which wall you was removing. No, you can. They all kind of blurred into each other. It's actually worth seeing how long I need to make this defensive wall to turn it into a defensive gate. Can we get a double? We can. 
Okay, so we have a little bit of an overlap. I can just remove these end walls, I think. Don't know how much that's going to mess up. <laughs> oh, yes. This is going to be cool. Alright. So now I know that I can make that. Oh, that's weird. That's what I was talking about, where it doesn't seem to face you sometimes. I think that should have a tracker on your eye, so wherever you are, it moves or rotates with you, instead of in a block motion. Okay, so now I know how long the defensive gate needs to be. Let's put some rocks in. I'm probably going to be going three high in this episode. If I have enough rocks, so then it matches the rest of the wall. One of the changes also, guys, is that the cannibals can now see light better. Just you, one of you? Oh, there's a few. Never mind. We'll just keep building. <laughs> that. Probably gonna get trapped in there. Told you. Oh, you got out of it. How can I get you out? Do I have to kill you now? You can usually pick them off before. What the hell? How can I get him off? Yay! That's all reset him. Nope. No. Oh, shit. Nope. Don't like it. <laughs> I ain't ready yet. A bit further away then. There we go, he might set on fire. Have they gone already? I killed their leader. I killed the main face mask dude in the wind. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this a little bit bigger. Looks a bit dark now, but we will get some lights going around there. I shouldn't have really placed these two on the end down. I need the space for the door. Ha! <laughs> get him back! Bone crypt. These keep on flowing in like this, I'll have a decent bone bomb. I was nowhere near that. There we go. I need some food. Sun's gonna be rising soon. I should have a lot of food in here ready. Just had a quick save of the game. Give me some food. Right, in fact I might take one more. Um, how's the water? Right, drink that. 13%, I think I'll fill it back up now. That's my boat, Bambi. Whoa! Easy! Is the Bambi doing that? I was only kidding, Bambi. You can get on the boat if you want. No, Amzy. Wait. Oh, I don't like this. What the hell? What happened to the battle raft? It's acting like my normal raft does when it tries to be a submarine. Yo. Don't you be hitting that. You're going down, buddy. Sorry. My bone wall's down. You can have free reign of my base, otherwise. Someone's praying. I hear you. Did you hear the humming?
Hey. I know you probably don't want to see me right now. I'm not one to get a crash a funeral or anything, but I did not do that. Promises. Ah! Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> Alright, you're all gonna die. I don't know how you died though, it's weird. Oh, get off my platform, Hamzy! <laughs> oh, you like moonwalk to me then. We're fighting each other. If I could get them maybe in noose trap, that'd be good. Get them away from all my stuff. Oh. I'm stuck on the tree. Oh! How am I chopping him? Look at this guy's. I'm slicing into him, blocking. What? Oh my god. Glitches for the win! What? How is that even possible? That is weird. My energy ain't going down either. Oh. Deja vu. Yo. They hit me, they get sliced. What was strange? Very strange. I think every update there's always some kind of weird bug that comes out. That ain't that bad though. <laughs> Block and hit at the same time is a winner. Right, let's get this defensive gate down. As long as we don't get attacked again. We do that to there. It's gotta be even. Yeah. It needs to be pushed further back, but that is a good size gate. Oh, in fact, it's good there. Yeah, we're good. Right. Oh no, I know what I'll do. I'll build this first, and then I'll put the walls going either side. 12 logs. I'm going to need one more. I think I have some logs on the other side of my tower. That's cool when you're pushing the logs. I feel like there's icons everywhere now though. It's like icon overload. The game does seem a lot more polished with them, but... I don't know man, icons everywhere! <laughs> Wish you can send them off. Yeah! Oh, so you can see the lock icon now. That's the centerpiece for this section of the wall. No gaps now. It goes against it, okay. And there we have it. Man. We're in closing it, guys. We're in closing it. As soon as I put the walls around the base of that, then I can start doing this side. But I think I might do that in the live stream, that tower. Uh, that is dried. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see if they can jump over. Should be able to jump over the single wall. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're all freaky. I feel like it's scarier in depth of field. I don't know why. Uh -huh. Looks like the skinny mutants have been redesigned.
That's so weird. You're getting a decent bomb bomb today. Now right, let's close this. Those bodies aren't going anywhere. But I need to get the second layer of walls down. Oh, oh okay. Looks like I'm doing it in stages. Oh, it did it. I think that's alright. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Is it raised a bit there? I think we're only going three high anyway. To match that side. But that will do another 123. As soon as we get these down, I know they can't get me from this side at least. They're always going to come through that gap there. Remember in one of the patch notes it says cannibals can now climb walls or jump over structures, but I haven't seen that yet. make some bone arrows again. I really like using them. Oh! You always get in here. You're far too tall for this, mister. Make some bone arrows. I should be, yeah, should be able to make some now. Is it one stick? Five and some feathers? Oh, yeah. Yo! <laughs> Shoot me in the dick. <laughs> Such a small area to fight in. I don't want to destroy my shit though. Oh, did you get me? You got me. Oh, he's alive now. Hell, he just took one in the head like a boss. What the? Oh, he's fast. Huh? He's a superhuman cannibal. Yo. Give me my arrows back. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Right, so I'm going to have to try and make all this all neat. This is going to be fun. Just this last bit. We have to make it longer for it to merge in. Whoa! What the shit? What the? That was a clusterfuck. They all just jumped on me at once. Didn't work out too well though. Whoa. each other. I think you're losing this battle, buddy. Oh, what a shot. Oh, my God. That was great. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let me finish this. I had to go so far for it to go flat. As long as it blends better. Um, right, it's only 18. Where did they all go? I only used three bone arrows. I took my bone arrows, Bambi. Start from this side. Can I cancel this end one? Or is that all one? Yeah, I'll just build it all.
Oh, yes! It's even helped out that. That's not sticking out so much now. Well, it looks like it's not. That fits in there nicely. Oh, perfect. Look at this from here. How cool does that look? With the tower in that? <laughs> right, one more layer. How far are we gone? Oh, I can't hardly see. It's such a bad idea placing these when you can't really see anything. Has that gone all the way across? It has. And down. Um, where are you? There we go. 117. That's not so bad. It's the last ones in this corner. But it's done and we are safe from this side. It's turned out so well. It's just really dark now. Um, okay. We'll put some light on the inside. Because this is where I'm mostly going to be on the inside of my walls. So as always, infinite light is the best. So we'll use skull lamps. Furniture needs its own bookmark. <laughs> there we go. So many new icons, guys. So many. Okay, we'll do that a corner one. Oh, that's all the materials in a cool line as well. Do this corner too. There we go. Look at that. That is miles better. Not sure about the tree sap icon though. Probably should have a tree maybe instead of a log, I don't know. I think I might do a skull lamp overload on this side and use all the skulls from the bone bomb in the bone crypt. That could be a good idea. Because they're going missing anyway. As soon as I take four skulls out and come back and I go at a certain distance, all the skulls disappear. She needs to make sure I try and even these out. Uh, should we put fires here? Standing fires at either side, maybe. Okay. We'll go like this. And standing fire can go next to it. That side looks a bit longer than this side. This is going to be guesstimation at best. Try and make them all the same width apart. Like that. And then we put the standing fires in the middle. You can't put them too close to walls still. Oh yeah, got them all spaced out first time. Okay. Only thing I have now is tree sap. What do you guys think about that tree sap icon? I don't know, if you have any other ideas what it could be, leave them in the comments. Uh, 15 stakes, 5 skulls. No worries about the skulls because we've got the bone crypt. Alright. Let's make this bone bomb, shall we? This is all going to be lit up. Um, where's the other stick? Oh, it's over here. Five skulls. I have more than five bodies, I think. Oh, it broke, did it? Yep. You still have to build these twice. Why? Keep them going. <laughs> what the hell? 
Nice foot. <laughs> right, hopefully when I like this, they all should light, although they're a bit more to the right. Oh, I don't think they're all going to light. It's kind of a little glitch as well. When you try and light them, it doesn't light the first time. Now they're all lit. No bones going to go underneath. Yeah, let me know in the comments what I should make that into, guys. Still no idea. But this has turned out better than I could have imagined. The tower makes it so cool. Not broken again. That's the first batch. The second bodies that are lit with a fire arrow should go any second. I... What was that? I won't break him. Something will broke. Oh, it's the fire. The fire broke. Right, I need to make sure all these skulls don't go to waste. I need one more. Do not disappear, skulls. I'm not even going that far. Don't disappear on me. I didn't go that far. Yes! Something weird about the skulls that they disappear so quick. Bone stored. Build a fire at the same time. Really? I'll oh, keep the bones on me. Uh, don't have the sticks for that, but no worries. So, we have connected the tower to the bone crypt. I made it look pretty good in the process, I think. Let's light these for more effect. Oh, yeah. Guys, can you see it? Can you see it? It's just that gap there, but we're about three quarters of the way around, maybe. If we get that bit done. Oh, man. <laughs> I want to live here. Even with the cannibals and all the arms. I want to live here. It would be amazing. I'm feeling confident. I don't need this bone wall up no more. Might as well wash the blood off too. I think I had blood on me for quite a long time, actually. Let's have a look at the stats. 17! We got a flare system 17 guys. Nice. That took a long time actually. 17 athleticism. But do let me know what you think to this uh little section that we've just done guys. And also, how have you found me uh having depth of field on? Did you notice the difference? I never had it on because the weapons used to annoy me because they used to be so blurry, but they aren't so bad anymore, I don't think. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do leave a like rate and support this series. Uh if you got this far, put what did we do? Put block and hit in the comments. We managed to do that glitch. I don't know how it happened. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I don't care. I'm packing my bags. And I'm moving in.